Jesus. I'm sorry. Right. Back in. So now we're finally going to find out how Phoenix and Maya reunited. <sighs> and how better than with a murder! That was no accident. Is that Phoenix talking? I was drugged with sleeping pills. Ah. I was murdered by that person. Ah. Oh. Eh. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? to see you again and it's not your fault you didn't do it no i i did it i killed that person okay i'm sorry the fuck but that wasn't you it doesn't matter he might as well have been me what you'll realize what's going on i can't believe something like this happened so there you go, everyone. They reunited because Maya's getting a murder charge again. You really should stop meeting like this. <laughs> yes, they really should. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess keep playing through my mind. So yeah, majority of this game kind of plays as a flashback. Or at least, like, the first case does. Okay, here we are. <sighs> here we go again. <clears throat> ah! Okay, who wants to be this guy? Not me. Okay. What depressing... I keep doing the same sort of voice, it's horrible. What depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do you?! Uh, I guess. But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at that weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spell will take a break with a day of sun. If that is what the girl said, I'd stake my life on it! Oh, it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve calling herself a weather girl? She's going to hear about my $1,500 suit. Dude, um, get some better uh -huh. fitting glasses. Stop pushing them up. Like, you're not even moving. Um, about your case. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we... I keep doing his voice differently. As soon as he went angry, I fucked up the voice. I thought that before we got down to business, we'd have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Turning gray. Mm. Remind me now to end up under his knife. We've got to remember, nearly every character in these games, especially in future games, the names literally are just puns. I know, I remember. The most egregious is Spirit of Justice, because they have foreign names which just literally sound like phrases. So one of one lady is called Believe in Me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And another one, give me another one. I'll be your guide. I'm sorry, pardon? I'll be your guide. <laughs> I'm here today because of this incident. Practice of great surgical clinic. 14 new patients lose their lives. Oh, you're the doctor at. It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! There's no need to shout, sir. To be honest, it's a good thing I'm not keeping his voice straight. It doesn't really matter anyway, in the end. Yes, yes, I heard you. I agree. It's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. 
The one that screwed up was that nurse! It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet! Now listen good! And yet! That nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing! She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me. And this is the kicker! She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car! Smash! Crunch! Instantly transforming her car into the accordion model! That's right, about a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. Um, 14 victims of medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumours that Dr. Gray had actually caused that crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. Why would I? Now, I'm going to just say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me. I think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic! I understand, Doctor! Don't say. But me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um... Do you realise I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. Eh. My Faye, you know this girl, correct? Why would he know her name and why would he smiling all that sweet? Yeah, that's creepy. I heard you were working under her for a little while. Excuse me! Excuse me! Yeah, I know. Well, yes, I mean, hey, wait a second here! I worked under her?! Yes, am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if. Well, we worked a few trials together. I worked under her sister, Mia! Oh, yes, Mia Faye. No, I'm fresh of some bolts. Scent of lemon. Scent of fresh lemon beer is what you were trying to go for. Hemorrhoids. <laughs> 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 I swear to God. It's like the really German series that was a simple little bitch hemorrhoids. <laughs> Why did you see that voice? Grossberg in the house, everybody! <laughs> my hemorrhoids! Oh, get my hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for the guy who's hemorrhoids! That's like this is a shitty band! Grusberg and the hemorrhoids! Quite literally! <laughs> oh, fuck Well, the thing is, like, Tom Nook's voice is similar to Grusberg's. So that's why I do the jokes then! Yes, but no, like I said, the name of a shitty band, Grusberg and the hemorrhoids! Oh no! Ah! Anyway, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah oh, yes, I heard. It must be very lonely for you to be missing that little girl. The door is over there, sir. Please, do not let it hit you on the way out. <laughs> what? Wait, I'm not! She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Can you fuck off? She's full young for you. I is, is there a way of finding out how old this dude is? Can you go to the court record? Profiles, please. 35! Yeah, and she's just turned 18. She was 17 in the last game. She is too young for you, sir. Stop talking 35. about her like that. 35! Her name was one year older. 
He looks really bad for a 35 year old. I know. Like I said, it's only one year older. 36. Counted it myself. 36! That, but that will come at some point. Yeah, at some point. Naturally, it will. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sort of things. A bully for you. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Faye. Yippee. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. I'm sorry, for what? For what? What else? A channeling. I have never formed such an instant dislike for a person in any of the uh, other game, in any of the uh, trial we had, apart from that pompous, odious man! Which one's that? One. Mm, I can't remember. One, I really didn't like him. <laughs> really don't like this one. I'm going to have a cold spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Oh, good lord. Uh, oh! Okay, no. This guy's off his rocker! Mm -hmm. I, uh, I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. Can you please? <laughs> it's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. Mm -hmm. That's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Nope. Not at all. Probably not. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling the spirit. No, it won't. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you again. Me? And that is why I've searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? What is with you, man? Ugh! Why are you so creepy? I don't know. Why the living fuck are you so creepy? And so. And so. That's how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. I don't like this. Welcome to Karine Village. I don't like him. I don't like him. Note that this is meant to be in America. In the localised version. Makes sense in Japan that you would find a village like this. But in America, no! Ah, yes, very American. Eat your burgers, Apollo! Very American. So this is Crown Village. Maya's hometown. There! Ah! What? Why? Hello there! Fine, fuck off then. Hmm, what's an odd little girl? Hey, wait up, Pearly! Hmm? Someone else is coming this way. Nick! My boy! How are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Nick! The way you said Nick. You remember, I just give May a... I give Maya the most unhinged voice. Like, Maya? In the... Who's Maya? This is Maya. <laughs> I give her the most unhinged voice when they're working together. Like, in the first oh. case, it was all like, I'm so sad, my sister. And it's like, oh, that's the samurai. Yes. That's why I love the voice you did. Yeah. Maya! How are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. Thanks. It's not that big a deal, you made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated. Just a little. It's only two hours by train. If I knew anywhere this close, I'd have visited more. No! You're not allowed! I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh wait, I'm 18. I guess you're allowed to visit now. Did you just spill apple juice down no. yourself? Oh, well. Anyway, congratulations. I'm glad your training is going well for you. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, so you're not gonna talk to me that you're just gonna creep around my hometown? Okay, I'll join you. Oh, yes, it's the rock! It looks like this giant rock is called the Grand Boulder. There's a really complex explanation right here, but long story short, it's a big stone for spirits to live in, or something like that. It's cool, ain't it, Nick? No, that's not. It says Grand Village on the side of The bus is seen incredibly inconvenient, and it's just going to come three times a day. <laughs> it's an old star phone booth! I can't say if it's in this area too well. Myself and myself get the reception up here, so who knows, I may need it later. Yeah. These most elegant of the buildings I can see from here. This is Faye Manor, the place Maya calls home. But her family's all the masters of the village. It's easy to be overwhelmed by its presence. That's a really inconvenient location. Your house is literally opposite the bus stop on the phone booth. Rustic, thatch roof houses where the other villagers live at Lion Street. They're nowhere near as large or as nice as the man in front of me. It's kind of odd I don't see any other, any of the other villagers walking around though. Okay, have I creeped enough? Yeah, I think you have. Oh, this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Crown Village. But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Okay. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spare medium? Pretty much. A whole spare medium. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Most of my ancestors were, too, I think. That's probably true, since the Fae of the Zucchini King is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. Stop reading my mind! So, what do the men do? Cry. Although they usually work someplace outside the village and then leave. Where is my father, Nick? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearl Fay. She's my cousin. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours, truly. No. Don't you want to kiss her big forehead? No. Cousin, wait, then that means is she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Huh, I see. I have been scared when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that... Uh, if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. Thanks. Suspicious looking! Well, you're not wearing training clothes, for starters. And your hair's stupid. Of course not. Pilly's my aunt's most valued tre treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Corain Village. Aunt? Pilly's mother is my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. Oh, nice. Looks like you finally become a full fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. About this case. Do you know the messy story behind it? <laughs> Behold the power of the Maya Intelligence Network. Let's see, 14 people died because of a malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Um, so what is this Maya Intelligence Network anyway? The tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. It's too scary, even for me. Y yeah, I guess so. Well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? I found done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Do you want some burgers, Nick? No. I'll eat all of your burgers. Alright, good luck, man. Thanks! Bye. The thing I like in the anime is that they give her like a little different outfit to do it. So like there's like a tiara and she wears like plain robes and not her usual outfit. 
Well, at least she's still the same Pokemon. Yay! <laughs> well, I guess we gotta head to the house then. Ah, fuck off! Oh, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Please fuck off. So what are we having today? Aren't you happy? No, not at all. Oh, here we go. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It will rain cats and dogs today. She said it with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splendid manner. You don't like it there, it's hard to believe that this is Maya's house dog. Yeah, considering what a little gremlin she is normally. I was given a guide map to this building. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you too. Why do you need a guide? That's not even... A partial... Oh, so kind of like, these are the only places that you as guests are allowed to come in. So there's a meditation room, a channeling chamber, a winding way, and a side, and a side room. room. I guess it's like the rest of the house you're not allowed to use, because you're not family. Right, this is the rest of the fucking thing. A piece of cloth from the town. Final. We've written characters jammed onto that. Probably a piece of tarot knowledge only you guys would know. Hmm, let's see. It's one in English. It says... hundred ways to save money. The only thing sounds like a rough way of life. Here. Nothing unusual here. This one leads out, leads out to the winding way. The weather outside looks really nice. Lovely. Someone with a lot of skill wrote these four Chinese characters with a brush. Oh look, there's a translation. Once in a lifetime. Its message is people should value their ghostly meetings as once in a lifetime chances. Surely it would be in Japanese, not Chinese. I have no idea. Okay. The door that leads to the channeling chamber and the place where spirits and people meet. The iron in this door was tempered, making it very solid. It looks like there is a strong lock on this door to top it off. Mm, yeah, I guess in case the spirits go hoo ha. Okay, that's it for the room. Go hoo ha. <laughs> Just casually hoo ha. One does not casually hoo ha. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. Ha. Anyway, moving on. Let's talk to this creep. What are you going to do once the nurse's spirit has been called? This is obvious. I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May the 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. I'm sorry and I apologise for being negligent. That's what I have her right. With the confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Oh, I see. So, how did you hear about Maya Faye? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the occult at college. That girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Karain School of Chameling. Oh, huh? And Miss Maya is the daughter of the master, I hear. Master? Anyway, do you see that door past the room where people and spirits meet? How does Phoenix not remember this? He, it was the whole thing with DL6 and the phase, the fact that her mother Misty is the master challenge. Yeah, I, I don't know how Phoenix doesn't remember this. Yeah, like, she was like a master medium and was amazing and then because of DL6 people thought she was a fake and she ran away. Mm -hmm. So now the aunt's, I guess, in charge until Maya fully comes of age. Yeah. I'm guessing, oh right, yeah. Well, if this is set in America, technically Maya would be considered fully an adult until she's 21. Yeah. Because there's still limits, stupidly, on what te people can do in the US. Like, oh, yeah, they can drive at 16. Yeah, you can drive around at 16. You, you can, 
can't drink until you're 21. You're considered an adult at 18, but you're not allowed to drink until you're 21. It's like, what the fuck do they... But then in all the movies and stuff, they know that in college, like, students booze up. Like, why don't they relax the laws at that point? Mm. Right. Like, they'll let fucking 18 year olds probably have a gun, but they're not allowed to drink. Mm. The fuck? Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Well, I suppose the aunt's in the channeling chamber, so shall we go and see her first? We could, or we could go the winding way. No, let's go to the aunt. Wow. So many candles. Wow, there's such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights, I guess they're candles. You so guess! Good sir, who might you be? Ah, I'm. Uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir, is she talking about me? You are a lawyer, are you not, good sir? What? Stop drinking tea, for God's sake! I've heard much about you from Mystic Meyer. Is that so? Mystic Meyer? I'm Mystic Meyer's aunt, Morgan Fay. Oh, I think I finally get the reference. Morgan Le Fay from the King Arthur legends. She was like a nemesis, like a witch. Okay, yeah. N nice to meet you. Oh, I had wanted to speak to you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you asked too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. First, I'm a coven, I'm afraid. What? Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That it was... That was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistants? You sh You would surely not have won. Now I'm on my use as I stink at doing my job. I have become the possible for how not to make a first impression. The past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Ah, thank you. I think it's because, like, of Maya channeling Mia. This folding screen is really showing its age. All of the edges are a bit tattered. The lettering is fading too. I think I recognise a few of the characters on here. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Maybe I'll ask Maya about it later. Yes, this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror like object from the cloudy reflective surface, and some branches of the sacred tree have been set in predetermined arrangements. Good sir, I wonder if you would please not touch the sacred objects. Wasn't planning on it, lady. Those objects are being offered to the spirits. Again, wasn't planning on touching them. If you were to touch them, good sir, they would become cursed. Yes, cursed. Really didn't have to talk down to me. I'm not that much of an idiot. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels of this floor. Destroying the floor, it feels like it's down, falling from the humidity in the air. There's a plenty of space behind the folding screen. The lines of the candles can't reach back here, so it's completely dark. Tissue was on inside of the very door. There's a giant iron lock with a handle. It feels like a, it feels like a curtain that separates the normal world from the spirit world. What is this? I think that might be it. Why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir! Oh, good lord. Yes? How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? I, I, I'm sorry. 
She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Uh, uh, so about Mystic Maya, uh, it is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the master. In actuality, she is the only one remaining. To mean. Me Fuck is dead, you dumbass. I hate him right now. Mystic Mai is the last of the faithful heirs of the Korine channeling technique. Okay, then where do you stand? Phoenix! Okay, I'm sorry, but. That's rude. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess she has the blood of the master being the sister, but if you know anything about inheritance with these sort of things, Phoenix, it would be the case of it's a matriarchal society, so if, you know, Mia and Maya die, Morgan would be the one that would inherit it, and then after Morgan it would be Pearl. I'm sorry, Sophie. That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fae Clan, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? Oh my... What do I have to say here if you listen to the DSC? It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Korine school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame, however, I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the loneliness of my power to the Master's. So that's how it is. So, today's channeling will be her first? Yes, good sir. The presence of the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong. It is usually easier to call that person to our world. The channeling will take place here in this channeling chamber, good sir. She'll call it good sir. Which is very traditional. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing while also drinking tea. So, this room is the channeling chamber? The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observe the session? I do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Uh, oh. The secrets of the Korean techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. And yet Maya's asked if we will be present. Mm. That never stopped Maya from doing your friend of me before. It is also for your safety, good sir, if something were to go wrong. That is why while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. In case the spirits go hoo-ha. Yeah, literally. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She is an adorable, angelic young girl. Oh, that's all. She is my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? What a cute daughter you have! <laughs> uh -huh. Pure heart that knows what the evils of in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I have the chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it! Probably because she wants her to not be like Maya. There's no point in playing. I need to affiliate with her where I wish. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What's that over there? Is that an incinerator? It's a little out of place in a garden like this. It is a bit. Oops. It's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. It looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting. 
So time to move on. Thanks. A splendid garden with a small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around in, although an incinerator piques my curiosity. Yes, there's some getting to it, I suppose. It looks like there's a room over there too. A peaceful feeling is emanating from it. You know what peace feels like? Tell me, what does peace feel like? Who knows? It is a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to tiny villages like this, so every family has to burn their own trash. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm moving. Yes. Oh. God. Hmm. So this is side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. There's bedding spread out on the floor. It looks like someone's sleeping in one. Hmm. Yeah, I shouldn't disturb them. I'm gonna mosey on through the room anyway. Step into a wooden bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. Grand village, the heart of Chanai. What the? It's a souvenir. So does this mean it's easy to spot bears here and to spot you? Whoa. Okay, so there's bedding spread out on the floor. It's like someone sleeping over there. She's probably exhausting me, taking a break and catching disease. Probably corruption might be grumpy and throw a spell on me. It's probably a good idea not to disturb her sleep. Yeah. It's a small alcohol. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean or symbolize. If I had one of these in the office, it would end up as storage space. Yeah. But here it's decorated with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging scroll. This is the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. Okay. From here I can see the winding way and the little garden in the courtyard. I believe that's everything. I guess so. Hey, you! Oh wait. Hey you, hold on now. This girl's got a few questions to ask. Ah, I'm sure I've heard that sub. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I said it wrong. We know who it is. Oh, well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. What's up? How you been? Haven't seen you in what? A year? Um, you, you are, uh... All the hair. Who are you again? You're a lot of heart, right? Bingo! I'm the one and only paranormal photographer. A lot of heart. Ah, I guess you're still at it being a photographer. Of course! And today I'm gonna get myself a real scoop! You wait and see! Oh, that's right! This ain't no time to be wasting time! The channeling's about to get started. Is, that, is it not time already? We all should hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on! Alright, huh? Been judging her harshly because of that case, but I guess looking back, we had some good times too. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm going. We will now begin the channeling. The stigma and honored guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. With this, I can finally sort out those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologise, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Why are you creeping on me? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, I sure would. Mr. Stigma, do you have the channeling chamber key? Yep, right here. That is most satisfactory. The key is one of the kind, so please take care of it well. It'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it. Trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray. Let's get started. Finally! Let's go. Now let us wait patiently out here for them. 
Here's some lovely bits of green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Hold on now, Granny! Granny? Oh, God, Lotta. How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear Madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland! Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. Oh my god. Wh what are you? This is Karine Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. <laughs> Sorry. Ow. She shot lots of her. Now that's impressive. Well then, let us wait. Bang. Hey now! What, what was that just now? I think we said the channel the chamber. Hey! Th that's a gunshot! Excuse me? I've heard that sound before! It's a gunshot! I bet my afro on it! Maya! Maya's in there! I'll break in this too. I guess we'll have to ask more than what to do. Well, it's too sturdy a door. Yeah, so I guess ask her what do you do? Do you have another key, maybe? Why are we going? It's fake. Well, what should we do? Yellow belly, chicken liver, what are you waiting for? Kick it down already! But the key. That key is one of a kind. In this world, there is only that one. Even I am powerless to open that door. Ah, is it? it. No way, all right. Stand aside and we should break the door down. Wait, please. That sort of recklessness. Yeah, no, that's what I call being a man. Oh shit, he did. Doctor Gray. Lotta. I. I was. Murdered. Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. What? Lotta! At a time like this! Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots! But anyway, what's going on? Here, this gal is she Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But but hurry before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy, and leave this to the granny. This often doesn't get reception way out here. So I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. Motherfucker. And? They're on their way. That's good. Lord, I saw myself a, mis a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. I guess we're gonna talk. Hey, mister. That uh, yeah. My, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't know the way my own channel and the whole business appearance changes. Then again, were there only two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like a wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's a real, he's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. 
Must have been a real rough to work for him. No place else to go. Not really, no. Ah, oh, Mr. Wright. Oh, only my name now. Good. It's Faye. How's um, Mystic Maya? She's returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Voice. I've been talking as every fucker else. So what is I here? Sorry to keep you waiting, pal. Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, alright? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Jim Shu? Uh, my name isn't Jim Shu. Uh, two of them went into the challenge. Right? It's all I can do for now, see what everyone else has to say. <coughs> so away I go, I'm going the winding way. And into the side room I go. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Who the fucker? Ah, I'm, uh, that is, I... Um, like, so it isn't about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like, the channeling. Channeling? Oh, 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 no, actually. The situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please say calm, but there's been a murder. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes, a person has killed another person. Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like, totally a bummer. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, I feel whatever is all she has to say. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Eeny Miney. Uh, um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people like usually call it occult studies or something? You! You! What are you thinking, Dragon? Tell the audience. If you ever have a theory, just pause the episode and tell everyone everything. Okay, pretty much. Dr. Grace said that he had an acquaintance that studied occult, the occult in college, mm -hmm. who introduced him to Maya. Yes. Said acquaintance. Yes. Who introduced him to my... She sent him to his death! Yeah. She knew! She knew. That he would die on the channeling chamber. Why, why would she send him to his death, though? I don't know, but it seems like the nurse that was killed in the accident, that got murdered... Knows her? Knows her. Mm -hmm. Because of what she said in the beginning. Mm. She named her! Mm -hmm. Shall we continue and try seeing? Like, supernatural phenomena. ESP and psychic powers. That sort of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm burpy. I'm now dribbling because I'm brain dead. That's pretty out there. I'm Felix Wright, attorney at law. So what brings you here today? Um, 
Right, so I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. Fucking knew it! Yeah. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Knew it! Hmm, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Because, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. Why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Oh, your face. Mm. Huh? I'm like allergic to sesame seeds. They like must have put some in the food they serve for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I like felt sick and came here to like sleep. I totally feel like I've wasted my time because I like slept a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, that. I like totally do nothing. So who was like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray! That contradicts something you just yeah, said. Yeah, actually. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient. Yeah. Sounds like she's trying to hide something. Can't do anything else there. Back to the winding way. Oh great, somebody's gonna pop out the cracks like a daisy. There's no one here. Oh good. As usual. Oh! Told you. Ah! Hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Science as ever. Oops, thought she's got in her hat. It's the key. I've seen it somewhere before. She's given it to us? No, she's holding it. Um. <laughs> yeah! What, what, what is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? Great! Great! Great. Okay, all I do is reset. Um. Please don't run away, please don't. Do we have anything in the court record that we could show her? No. Never mind. Profiles. All this. She's eight. eight. She's eight. Okay. She's eight and very sharp. How old was her mother? No idea. Well, I guess she is an older, distinguished lady and doesn't want you knowing her age. How old is, uh, like, so and so? Like, 21. 21. So she's an, just an adult. Mm hmm. Okay, so uh, we gotta do something, but we don't have anything in a sense to show her to ch get her to chill the fuck out. So I guess the channeling chamber. <laughs> Police are visiting me running here and there, but I don't see my anywhere. Hey, hey, you! Don't touch anything, pal! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk, pal! Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Well, I guess it's because he's like, I am aware that it's your friend. And, you know, someone who, you know, 
by this point, like, I'm sure likes Phoenix and Maya, so of course so. it feels bad. Um, about Maya. I hate to talk. I hate to break the two, pal, but with the way things are looking now, that girl's the only one that could have done it. Yeah, only Maya, the victim inside this room. Well, fuck it. Let's just Shot with the gun, huh? You were shot in the forehead! But, 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 I was also stabbed in the chest with a knife! Huh. A knife? What's that you got there? A knife! No! Basically, the Vic was first stabbed, then he was shot! Well, the dead bodies in the news. Slide. Slide. Yeah, do something gravity. Oh. Okay, is there anything on the other side? I guess not. Hey, pal! No touching without my permission! I'm just looking at it. Hey, I can't be too careful. If a kid like her couldn't be a murder suspect, now I can't. the village. Yeah. Gotta get that pearl to just open up. Mm. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right by her. Lotto? Run! Don't let it be me next! Yeah? Don't scare me like that! What do you mean? You're the one scaring me! If it weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands! Man! Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? No, well, maybe one thing. What one thing? What is it? Turns out my poor star is not good at handling this kind of thing. Oh, uh, what? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you. This is too much, I say. Why? What's this too much? Being an occult photographer. That's some scary stuff. So I think I'm gonna try to be a celebrity photographer now. Do I have photos more within your reach from now on? More glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh, oh yeah! What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Gimme. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Ah, she did too, even! The seance murder. I shall let the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story! Give me the photos. Lotto? Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. I hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta be those cops in the scoop of the century! You need those photographs. You don't know who's scarier. Lots of the spirits. Why does it feel like we've been through this before? Okay. Back we fucking go again. Oi, they. Yeah, I know. Oh, dear madam. You have such impeccable timing. Excuse me? Hello? Hi? Why, what's all the buzz? Ahem. Alright, everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation is not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. Alright. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. I was arrested and taken away by the police, and I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. One second. 
<sighs> Morning. Guess I must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. Be sure I have to get to the detention center ASAP. We're in the detention center. Yeah. I'm going to see if we have much more of this. Okay, guys. So, um, we're going to leave it here for now. Thank you so... all for watching this latest addition to our growing collection of varying games and reviews. Just videos in general. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Please leave a like and a comment in the comments section down below. We love hearing what you think. If you have any recommendations for either games to play or material to review, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to get to them when we can. If you like our content, subscribe to see more. Check out our playlists if you are looking for something new or worried you've missed an episode. Click on the recommended video appearing on the screen if you want to see more of us right now. You won't regret it, we swear. Subscribe to our Patreon to become one of our lovely beans today. However, if that is too expensive for you at this time, please consider a one-off donation on our Ko-fi. Help poor tea wench today. And with that, lime out. Dragon out. Bye!